Hi guys, welcome back to Just Card Rob. And uh, we're still playing with camera angles. Trying to figure out what works the best. I'm not too happy with any of them so far. Working on our cowboy. Keep putting them center lines back in, guys. Keep your center lines. Okay, so that's going to be our upper body, and then that will be our feet and our legs. Get our feet drawn in there. About a, eh, about a half inch up. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob. And we're carving a cowboy. And what we're doing is we're putting our center lines back in. Make sure we keep our center lines. And then we've gone ahead and drawn in where we're going to have our feet. And then the upper part of our body. And we got one arm drawn in there. Actually, that one would be back because there's his elbow. Probably should make that just a little bit lower. Something like that. I don't know. I liked it better the other way, I think. I'm going to keep it up high. Bring that, his arm back. Bring this down a little bit more. Just have to play around with it to get the angle that you want. As far as how big you want his arm. So we're going to be somewhere in there. Shoulders going to wrap around to here. Something like that. And arm back like this. And his hand is going to be... I'm just going to draw a circle for the hand for right now. Okay, something like that. Something like that. All right, so let's carve. Okay, so we might as well go ahead and mark where we're going to have his feet at. Just going to take my knife and go all the way around. Just to uh, show us where his feet's going to be.
The other thing about this balsa wood, it has a lot of static cling to it. It doesn't like to slide off the blade very easy. The only good thing about it is that when you, if you're doing it on the side, the side grain, it seems to cut okay. Just whenever you're going, because the grain's running up and down like this, whenever you're going with the in the grain, it just doesn't. It just wants to rip and tear. Okay, so we might as well go ahead and mark his arm. Put a little cut right there. Something like that, so you know where his arm's going to be, where his elbow's going to be. And we can go straight across the back like that. And then we know this arm's going to basically come down the same direction. So his shoulder's going to be... Right there, so then we can come over to this side, do the same thing. His arm is coming back. And then down. And then this part of his arm is going to come down. that and then to there we want his hand right here so we will go ahead and draw his hand in and at this point none of this has to be perfect because more than likely it will change as we go along here So I'm thinking that this is about the best camera angle we're going to get. Unless I go out and buy a different type of mount, which I don't have the finances to do right this second. It's still surviving Christmas. You know how that goes. Like I said, all these cuts are just little preliminary cuts that really don't mean too much. Just, uh, it's better than pencil because the pencil seems to rub off. So I'm just kind of earmarking this, I guess, just a little bit here. Okay, so basically we got his arms marked in like that. So all this has got to go away. All this chest area here. So we can kind of round that over. Something like that. Stuff just tears and tears. And we can watch. See, our hands are going to come right to the edge. So go down below the hand. You can take that corner off there too. Same one on this side. Go down below your where your hand's going to be. Because our hand's going to be probably right to the edge here. And we'll end up taking this corner off too. It's just that I want to see how much wood we're going to need for the hand. Look at that. Big chunks just chipped right off the back there. And didn't even touch it with a knife. Just my finger, pressure of my finger broke it. Crazy. I just know from experience I'll be cutting this down more. So
I'm going to try something on this. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a try. See, we're kind of cutting his legs in in the back there. Then we'll do the same thing in the front. that up. Get that front cut down over to his shoulders. I guess what we'll do is plunge our knife in each way. And then we'll come back and we'll take that chip out in each direction. See, now he's starting to get an arm going there. We do the same thing in the back. And that shows his arm in the back there. We'll round it over. Something like that. We'll do the same thing here. Tip in. Stop there, and because that's going to be our hand, we'll cut forward like that, and we'll get those chips out of there. Something like that there. Push these shoulders back. I think we got this one pretty well defined over here. I'm just going to round all this stuff up a little bit here. that. Same thing on this side. See that balsa wood? I'm trying to make that slicing cut on it.
basically we're just rounding this stuff over with a harder wood like uh, basswood or it's easier well it doesn't cut as easy but it does also doesn't flake off as much Definitely not my preferred wood. You'll hear me complain about it a lot. If you don't like it, why do you carve it? Bill? Like old Jordy says, free wood is the best wood, right? Mmm, okay. Free wood is the best wood for carving. And as I've stated before, this was given to me. So we're just drawing the lines in the back there. Because so we're going to come in here and we're just going to go down right to the elbow like that and then we'll come back and we'll pop that chip out of there like that here, down to the elbow Take that chip out of there. So it, you can see the back side of your arms basically. Just trying to get our elbows at about the same height. Just rounding his backside off a little bit more. Because he's a cowboy, we got to give him his holsters for his guns. You gotta kind of plan ahead on all that stuff before you 
just go flattening everything out. give him the illusion that he's got a gun in his holster. And like that. You gotta be really careful here because see that? The chunk of wood just broke right out of there. So we gotta be kinda careful whenever you're cutting wood, especially with this boss of wood, whenever you're cutting little things in there you kinda gotta be careful and of course the bigger your the bigger your character is the more detailed you can get with these guns and stuff but with these these little tiny guys like this You just gotta roll with what you can do. See? Kinda looks like he's got a gun in there, don't it? Alright guys, we're gonna stop this one right here. So, we got his arms cut in, we got one, one holster and one gun kinda cut in there. And we will catch you on the next one, so... Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, all my subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and we'll catch you on the next one. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. Share, subscribe, and like if you want to. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.